Atanasio is joining us and that has to be great to hear from him and uh, we'll get into the contract and all of that as we continue on through this inning and first of all welcome to the booth Thanks, and I know Brian. it's been a, a fun couple of days for you but how about your comments on locking up one of the premier players in the league. Well just what a great day for Brewers baseball. Ryan uh, now he really he said it all yesterday better than I could say it which uh, is one of the reasons we wanted to to sign him. He uh, you know, he really is the epitome of, of the kind of player we want to have here. Tell us how all that got started. I mean that was uh, really quiet. It kind of you know kind of caught everybody by surprise. Uh, tell us about the process. Well uh, you know as we said yesterday Rock uh, Ryan's agent called in uh, middle of spring training and said I'd like to come and see you and Doug about uh, making Ryan a brewer for life. And uh, I said, really? <laughs> <laughs> As Weeks draws the walk. Yeah, Rock uh, speculated in our open today that that was probably one of the, the easiest contracts you've been able to slide in front of somebody, right? Yeah, well, you know, uh, when you sign uh, something into nine figures, it's always complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the That's fact that Ryan wanted to stay here, I mean, that was the easy part. You wanted just a matter of getting the finances together. But. Uh, yeah, you got to be happy with some of the guys you've locked up for long term deals. You got you know, go and you've got Ricky Weeks, Corey Hart. Now Ryan Braun for 10 years. It's got to feel good. One of the things we try to do here we were very fortunate to have. Uh, They're going to stay fair. They'll let it roll and it lands on the line. That is a fair ball base hit. Carlos Gomez. Yeah. Well you can't blame Quintero. I mean even if he picked it up and he could throw the baseball we're not sure that he's able to this guy hit on the elbow but uh, and once that ball bounced a couple of times there was no way they're going to be able to throw Gomez at first base. I'm not sure I've ever seen an umpire move a catcher out of the way like that. Out of my way. <laughs> I got work to do. And speaking of Ryan Braun he bats now with two men on. Listen to this. Hand like another again. standing ovation maybe for Ryan. The second of the night. Contract comparable to the Troy Tulowitzki deal with the Rockies. It is an interesting time in baseball when markets like Milwaukee, Colorado, they can sign players. Players and Ryan talked about this on the pregame show how much he enjoys playing here. And he, when he thought about where he wanted to be, this was it. So that's where the uh, contract in his mind comes from and uh, why he made the inquiry. He apparently had thought about it a lot into the offseason and then into spring training and talked to his family and decided it's what he wanted. And uh, you know, Doug and I both felt that you know, talk about a once in a lifetime opportunity for an organization of a player like this who really is on a historic arc in terms of his offensive production. And to, at the age of 27, tell you he wants to be with the team for his whole career. Uh, very special opportunity, we felt. Has to make you feel good as well. You took over this ball club beginning with the 05 season, and now you're in a position where free agents want to play here. Guys like Ryan Braun want to stay here. That says something about you and the operation and and everything that is experienced here in Milwaukee. You know, and it all starts with the three million fans we're able to have come in the door every year, uh, Brian, because. Uh, Fans and you know secondarily our sponsors really put us in position to do the things that we're doing. And Ryan said he wanted you know it's all about winning and I think you know you got to you, know, you and, and Doug Melvin and I think a lot of it has to do with in spring training Ryan wanted to extend that deal with you know bolstering up that pitching staff you know Greinke and Markham and bringing Saito over here so the commitment that you have shown to the organization he in return is showing the commitment to, hey I want to be here because you guys want to win as well. As Braun sends one deep left center, that's got some heat on it, and it's gone! A line drive missile out of here! Ryan Braun on cue gives the Brewers the lead. That's 
That's about as fast as a baseball can leave the yard right there. You know, Mark, I, he, both of us have seen just about every one of Ryan Braun's at bats so, you know, since he's come up. I don't remember him being more locked in at the plate than he is right now. Uh, well, and I can't, I gotta say, I can't help but smiling after see that. But, <laughs> uh, you know, Ryan told me that the game is all coming to him here. And he just told me last night he's never felt more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, we went out, Debbie and I went out to dinner with his, uh, with his family last night and with Ryan, his girlfriend, and his agent. And, uh, Fielder, deep center. This is going to be playable for Bourne. He just missed it on the bat. And that is the first out. Continue, Mark, as we watch the Braun home run. Yeah, missed his spot, didn't he? he? Wanted it up and in, left it out over the plate. And that's a no-no to a guy like Brawny. We're not going to get many of those back. Listen to the sound of that, huh? A special hitter and as you as you mentioned, I mean, guys like Braun and Fielder are just a different sound off their bat, even in batting practice. You know, one of the things I think that's especially telling about Ryan this year is, I, and I think he's got more walks than strikeouts this year. And uh, so he's, you know, and he's listen, he's still getting better. I know that's hard to believe, <laughs> but he's only 27 years old. So they, uh, they have 15 walks, 10 strikeouts. Pretty good. You look over the stats a little bit. Yeah, don't well, you? Yeah, we <laughs> paid a lot of attention to the statistics as we were picking through this. So. But uh, you know, look, we want to build. We're to get to your point, Rock. You know, Ryan, Giovanni, Corey Hart, Ricky Weeks. We want this to be a place that young players can develop and that they want to stay. And 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 interestingly, with Ricky and Corey, Giovanni uh, was a little different because he was a little earlier in his career. Uh, they also uh, reached out to us and said they wanted to be here. So you have, and that obviously Yamani wanted to be here because he signed a contract, but I think he was only 23 when mm -hmm. he signed him. But the other guys had been here for a while and, and let us know they wanted to stay here. And, uh, and that's a great feeling. And it is a team with a lot of experience. These guys have been around a while, but they're not very old. I mean, these are young kids still with a lot of valuable you know experience they've been around now this is Giovanni's fifth season with the Brewers he's only what 26 yeah he's uh, if he if 25, even 25, if even, 25 right? yeah and they've had a lot of success winning together and that's the other thing I was trying to keep together there's a base hit for Casey McGee you know you, you had a you, one of the things when I when I brought the team I, I focused on was the culture because I'm sorry to say the team had unfortunately through some of its its challenges it developed more of a culture of losing mm -hmm. and I as an owner I was trying to figure out how I could change that culture and and frankly these guys made it easy for me because they've been winners their whole life this young group of players so my job was to just try to help keep them together and and by the way I give Doug Melvin a lot of credit because Doug has really had that as a blueprint for uh, success and what he's been trying to do here he Doug is has, has uh, kind of made it a, a mission to try to keep as many of the young guys as he could well, it should be an exciting year. A great offseason, of course. Doug Melvin, Zach Benazian in there with him, and uh, the signing of, or the trade for Zach Grinke, the signing of Takashi Saito, the Markham trade has really uh, turned around the season, you would hope, as Katze bounces into a 4 6 3 double play. Mark, it's great to have you. Congratulations. Thanks, I know, Brian. I know you're anxious to get down there and watch yeah. the rest <laughs> of this game. Thanks for coming nice. up. Okay, thanks, Mark. Thanks, guys. Thank you.